Okay, so um, hello. I'm going to give you a quick update on a Forest Matrix project. And the topic today will be uh, the, the data gathering. So what we do now in SourceOps is uh, we have an analysis for repository that collects some basic information. Then the information is processed. And then the last step is visualizations or a health report calculation. So you can see how well your repository is doing. And basically, how the question is, how do we the data aggregation part? When you have one repository, uh, it is really not a problem. But what about the whole organization? What about, uh, let's say you have 100 repositories in your organization and you want to inspect each one of them? So what we did is uh, we used Argo workflows for that. So currently we have a template for a repository analysis. And well, we have an object uh, of a workflow kind and that does a whole uh, analysis workflow. So the whole workflow consists of a collect knowledge part and or from a process part. Basically, the collect knowledge part is only uh, accessing GitHub and requesting information, and the process part is processing those uh, collected knowledge, that collected knowledge. So uh, we have Argo workflow. How does it work? You, uh, you pass a parameter of a repository you want to inspect, so let's say I have a list here of uh, repositories. I can choose run. So I can pass. Uh, Dominic. Yes. Can, can you enlarge the screen a little bit? Because I think it's uh, not good readable. Yes. Yes, I can. What about now? Just another tick. Another? <laughs> yeah. I might be yeah. now. Cool. Thanks. OK. Uh, so. I will pass, for example, uh, let's say a AI, AICOE slash AICI repository, just for a showcase, and also the template that will be used. So by this, I will create a Argo workflow for just this one repository. So you can see if, if it is running. Just peek into that. And currently, the collect knowledge part runs. And then after that, the process information. So uh, and basically, why we why do we use the Argo workflows? Uh, we want to run analysis on multiple repositories at once, so a parallel analysis. So the way it works is I have here a, a list of all the repositories from AI COB organization. So the, uh, the way it, it will work in future is that in top common there, there will be a method that would submit all the Argo workflows for for whatever organization want to inspect. So for example, AICOV or station. And for each repository, it will launch a workflow. But it is not yet done, so I will just showcase it here. Uh, I will give a list of repositories as a parameter to, to the template. So. <clears throat> Uh, same, same thing as four. Want to pass? A, oh, sorry. No, <laughs> I want to pass a repository parameter, parameter, and also a template we're using. Yes, and again, create 
Argo workflow out of that. And this should launch a whole bunch of uh, Argo workflows. So I'm going to try it. Uh, I hope it will not uh, break. So let's see. Yes, you can see it now. And I can also go to Argo UI we have on OpenShift and see there are multiple source of metrics workflows. Hmm. Error. Well, you can see it here. It should be available also here, but we don't know why is the problem now. So, yeah, this should. We can look in one of the workflow. How is it doing? So, we can look at the uh, at the log at the at the logs at, at the log it is output, outputting. Hmm. Might not oh, be running right now, right? You have, you have just created the workflow, but it's not uh, running. They should be running in parallel, all of them. Ah, okay. Uh, or maybe it is because uh, there are not enough resources. So maybe probably the first one. Yes, so larger. you can see larger, larger, <laughs> yeah, and enlarge this. Um, I can do it here, right? Yes, so you can see the whole knowledge collection was done because it is probably a repository of small size. Uh, don't know why. Don't know why the UI does not work, but it doesn't matter. You can see all all in in the terminal. And it, when the workflow is done, uh, it will remain for like ten seconds uh, available, and then it will clear itself. So, yeah, that's it. Any questions? So all the data you collect or aggregate is um, stored on ZEF, right? Yeah, right now we are uh, connecting to the ZEF because the source of metrics have a functionality to store knowledge uh, uh, right onto the ZEF, but uh, it was suggested by Francesco that we use uh, uh, a volume functionality on Argo, so we we would uh, collect knowledge locally, and that that uh, volume will be stored on Zev afterwards when the workflow is done. And um, next step is to wrap it up in a customized application so that we can hand it over to the SRE team so that they can run it on the uh, open Data Hub. Uh, next step is yeah, kind of ag aggregate the, uh, this data and then have a superset dashboard available for ah. every repository. Right, 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 right. Nice, cool. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? No. Cool, thanks.